Welcome to Joystick, my friend. In this video, you are going to learn how to sort a list in Python using for loop. Let's deep dive right away into coding the program to sort a list in Python using for loop. I am already in my PyCharm ID and will start writing the program here. You can open it too on your machine and follow along with me. We'll begin with writing the main function first. So here we go by typing just main and taking the help of PyCharm in the creation of the main function syntax. Then let's define a list with some elements. We'll call this list L and in this list we are going to put down some elements in an unsorted manner. So let it be 6, 9, 3, 4, 1, 2. You can see that the list is unsorted. Now to sort this list, we'll define two for loops. Every list element from the first for loop will be compared with every subsequent element from the second for loop and will exchange places with it if it happens to be greater than it. So let's write the first for loop. It will be for i in range c to comma. We'll use len function and pass our list as its parameter and we'll also reduce one from the length. So this for loop is going to iterate over this list from the first element. Six over here is the first element and it is going to iterate over till the second last element. If we complete the sorting process till the second last element, then the last element will already be sorted, right? Now let's write the inner loop because it has to iterate over all the subsequent elements after the element from the first for loop. Hence the start index this time will be i plus one over here. And this will run till the last element of the list. So it will be for j in range i plus one comma length of l. There you go. It is going to run till the last element. Now we'll write the if condition which will compare the element from the first loop with the element from the second. Loop. And if the first loop element is greater than the second loop element, they will exchange places. So we are going to write if L of I is greater than L of J colon. Basically what's happening over here is this six will be first compared with nine. Since six is not greater than nine, Hence, the list is going to remain as it is. In the next iteration of the second loop, 6 will be compared with 3. Since 6 is greater than 3, hence they will exchange places. So list will become something like this. 3, 9, 6. The first three elements I am talking about. Then in the next iteration of the second for loop, 3 will be compared with 4. Since 3 is not greater than 4, hence it is going to stay as it is. So list will become something like this, the first four elements. In the next iteration of the second for loop, 3 will be compared with 1. Since 3 is greater than 1, hence they'll exchange places. So the list will become something like this, 1 over here and 3 in place of 1. And then in the last iteration of the second for loop, one will be compared with two. Since one is less than two, hence they won't exchange places and two is going to stay in its current position. So after the first iteration of the first loop, the list is going to be something like this. I leave it up to you to explore the next iterations yourself to reach the fully sorted list. Now we'll write the code to exchange places of the elements the way professional programmers write. So it will be L I comma L J equals to L J comma L I. This way we can swap the elements without using a third variable. This is some effective programming that is only possible in Python. My friend, I hope you are enjoying this video. Do hit the like button and if you are new to my channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because that gives me a morale booster to make videos like such for you. Now we'll print our sorted list over here and we are also going to print the list after every iteration of the first loop. So I'm going to simply write 
print l over here and outside these for loops i am going to write print l this is going to print the sorted list okay let's run the program now and check the output so before we run this program let's print a message over here so it will be sorted list What this message is going to do, this is going to distinguish the final sorted list from all the intermediately sorted lists that will be printed after each iteration of the first for loop. Let's run this program and check the output. All right, there you go. You can see the final sorted list over here. It is completely sorted. And uh, this is the list which is the first intermediately sorted list after the first iteration of the first for loop and you can see the position of the elements matches with what we discussed over here and these are all the subsequent intermediately sorted lists after each iteration of the first for loop now in this program we hard coded this list i prefer taking the list as an input from the console so let's write the code for it and make this program better. We'll make use of input function to first take as input the number of elements of the list for which we'll write final size that is going to contain the size of the list that we are going to enter from the console. Whilst to fit an int function, we will write input and within the input function, we are going to display a message, enter the number of elements. All right, we need to type cast the input to int because by default it is a string. Now we'll define an empty list over here. Let's call it L only. Now we'll write a for loop that runs from 0 to 1 element less than the final size of the list in which we'll take each element as input. So it will be for k in range 0 to final size the range function only runs till one less than the value in this final underscore size variable now we'll define a variable le and after the equals to sign we are going to write int within which we'll write input and we'll write enter the element of the list space this line of code will help us take each element of the list as input from the console. Finally, we'll write the code to add the taken element to the list. So it will be L dot append L. There you go. The program is ready now. Let's check it by running it. All right. It is asking me for the size. So let me enter five. Great. You see, it is asking me to enter the first element. So I'm going to enter, let's say 13. Then I'll enter 11. I'll enter 9. Then 14. And finally, I'll enter 1. Let's see if this gives us the sorted list. There you go. You can see that the list has been completely sorted. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning it. Do hit the like button and let me know in case of any doubts in the comment section. I promise I'll answer them. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Goodbye.